Podcasts are a great way of getting information, but which ones do you listen to? If you don't want to focus on the clinical and you just want to know more about general practice and how to kind of survive, in this episode, I'm going to cover my top non-clinical podcasts that you may want to listen to out there in primary care. In particular, I'm going to mention my new and noteworthy as well as some honourable mentions. And then we're going to rank our top five using my Carl ranking method and basically cover why you may want to listen to these starting in the new year and moving forward. You may have heard of these, you may not have done, you may know of others that I haven't covered, in which case definitely let me know. I'd love to hear about that. Subscribe so you get all of our future episodes like this and let's start saving you and your patient's time by tech enhancing your primary care and learning. Shall we begin? Hey GP learners, so in this episode we're going to cover the top non-clinical podcasts that you may want to listen to in general practice and primary care. We have got a few honourable mentions, which to be honest are all also in the category of new and noteworthy because they've all kind of started this year. So definitely have a look at these and then we're going to have a look at our top five based on my Carl ranking method. What is Carl? It basically looks at content, audio quality, regularity and length of the podcast itself. And based on that, you'll get a number. I will point out a slight declaration. I have not included the eGP Learning Pod Blast in this. However, definitely subscribe to that on whichever platform you like to listen to podcasts. Or if not, subscribe on YouTube. And another declaration, I've actually featured in most of these podcasts as well as a guest at times. So feel free to check out those episodes as well. I'm hoping that's a marker of how much I actually enjoy listening to them, as well as the fact that I've been on them as well. Anyway, let's get started with our honourable mentions. So our first honourable mention goes to the next GenCast. This is a podcast by Dr. Nishma Manik, who's been basically spearheading the next gen GP movement to try and support general practitioners, particularly those newly qualified taking up leadership positions in the NHS, because we know there's a bit of a lack of this over the past few years and definitely a push to try and make sure we've got the next leaders of our workforce coming through. The podcast series is nice, effective and it's inspirational as well so definitely have a listen to it next up as an honorable mention we've got our leadership in general practice podcast done by gary hughes who's a practice manager and basically he just covers information about how to basically lead and manage general practice really nicely i've enjoyed listening to a few of his episodes and as he started out on his journey i hope he continues to make sure this is a podcast that will probably feature maybe next time around when we do the rankings in our top five Another new podcast to have started this year is the RCGP Somewhere in Between. So this is a podcast created by some of the AIT committee and it's basically looked at various different journeys that many of them have had and in particular covered various things that have been happening in the AIT and First Five committees. I would recommend having a listen to them. It is free so you don't have to be an RCGP member to listen to them. I have been on one of the episodes so slight declaration there but it's a nice little thing to have a listen to. Their release schedule is a little bit haphazard, so that may be an area to focus on to improve it a bit better, but definitely check it out. And finally, a gem of a podcast I would recommend listening to is the Jolly GP podcast. So this is started by Daniel and the two Richards. Have a listen to their first episode to find out what this is. And basically, they cover various different aspects around general practice for trainees in particular, looking at why you may want to look at general practice their journeys as trainees as they go through what they're challenging and basically it's a nice little listen as well. I think the audio quality could do with a little bit of tweaking to make it a bit more listenable but definitely worth a listen to and see some of their topics that are actually quite niche and therefore a little bit useful. Anyway let's get cracking with our top five non-clinical podcasts for general practice. So at number five we've got the health tech podcast by James Somaru. So James is a former anaesthetics trainee that's basically turned his hand towards health technology. And I will point out this is a little niche. It does focus on health tech in particular. It's a really interesting podcast to learn about what's potentially coming, what's out there to help in terms of healthcare, generally speaking. And he does also talk about various other elements, particularly in terms of funding of health tech and that kind of stuff. It is a very regular podcast. I think he's releasing almost every few days at the moment, which is amazing. And in addition, he's got his lovely little update called the Health Tech Pigeon, which is a nice short update to hear about his podcast, other useful podcasts and useful information if you're interested in health technology. When we look at the Carl rating, so in terms of content, I have given the Health Tech podcast 
three out of five. That's not because it doesn't cover great content, but the content is very niche. And I can appreciate for many people wanting to know more around general practice, it's probably a little bit too niche for them. But if you have an interest in health technology, it's an awesome one to listen to. Mm. Aside from the eGP Learning Pod Blast, obviously. In terms of audio quality, he gets a four out of five because the audio quality from his side is really good. Occasionally, some of his guests, it does drop down a little bit and that makes it a few of the episodes a little bit harder to listen to. But that's one of the challenges of running a podcast. In terms of regularity, he gets a four out of five. As I mentioned, he is releasing episodes almost every few days, which is really good. I actually find it a little bit too much personally, even though I love the podcast. And there are a few I end up having to miss because there's just so many episodes. And in terms of length, he gets a three out of five as well. This is because the episodes do vary in length. Some of them can be 20 minutes, which is where I know he tries to focus on. But in particular, some of them have been much longer. And therefore, because of the variability, three out of five in total. Coming in at number four is the Medics Money podcast. So if you want a podcast that gives you information about how to manage your money as a doctor or in healthcare, basically, this is what you need to listen to. Tommy and Ed are great podcast hosts and they've got a good chemistry between each other and they just cover these topics so effortlessly. I would really recommend having a listen if you need information about sorting out your finances and in particular learning about how you can improve your financial well-being as a doctor or somebody working primary care. This is also applicable to those working in any form of the healthcare industry. Tommy's a great host and Ed is just a font of knowledge when it comes to this being both a GP and a qualified tax accountant and chartered accountant. I mean, how many degrees does a guy need? Slight declaration, I have been on one of their episodes and I love the guys, really have a great working relationship with them on various aspects as well. In terms of the car rating, so that again, they get a three out of five similar to the Health Tech podcast. That's not because the content isn't good, but it's because the content is very niche. So, as I said, if you want a podcast around money and finance within healthcare, this is your podcast. However, that's the main focus of the podcast, although they do cover other areas as well. Definitely worth a listen, but they do get the three out of five for that reason. In terms of audio quality, I'm going to give them a three out of five. The audio is generally very good. Occasionally, it does drop off a little bit, and I think that's something they're looking at improving over time. To be fair, they have only just started, so in the past couple of months, and they're doing really well as a result of it. In terms of releasing their episodes, so they release on a weekly basis, and the length of the episodes is about 30 minutes on average. So definitely useful and effective at listening to, and for that reason, they're my number four pick. Coming in at number three is the Business of Healthcare podcast by Tara Humphreys. So Tara works in supporting her local area in terms of managing primary care effectively and easily. And as a result of that, she's created this podcast, which has been running for over a year now and regularly releases episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And that's an amazing feat to do. In terms of the content, she covers various different areas around general practice and primary care, particularly with a focus on things like networks and stuff. And as a result of that is really useful information that you may want to learn about everything around general practice that's not clinical. I have been on one of her earlier episodes and she's got lots of regular guests to help understand various different aspects around primary care, as well as giving her own perspective, which is really useful as well. Let's have a look at the car rating for the Business of Healthcare podcast by Tara Humphreys. In terms of content, four out of five. It's good quality information with experts giving their opinions as well as Tara occasionally giving hers. In terms of audio quality, four out of five. It's good quality, generally speaking. Occasionally, some of the guests, it does drop down a little bit. Standard problem that most of us have. And in terms of release schedule, a whopping five out of five. Being able to release an episode every Tuesday and Thursday is not an easy feat. And the fact she manages that on a regular basis is awesome. And it's not too frequent that it's overbearing. And in terms of length, average episode is around 40 minutes. There are some that are shorter, some that are longer but it's a nice length that you may want to have a listen to because at least it gives you the depth to listen to each of those topics. And that's why she's up there at number three. Let's have a look at the number two rated podcast when it comes to non-clinical areas in general practice. And that position goes to the You Are Not A Frog podcast by Dr. Rachel Morris. You Are Not A Frog is an interesting podcast series that basically looks at your well-being, how you can improve your effectiveness, productivity, and basically all that side of general practice. 
it's really inspirational. And hearing Rachel speak, she's definitely got the podcasting down in terms of quality, style, and everything else. I have been on one of the earlier episodes, and I may join her in future ones as well, so a bit of a declaration there. But in terms of content and usefulness, this is something you really should be listening to if you want something that is not clinical, but around general practice. And particularly if you're a leader in general practice, or if you're thinking about starting that journey, this is one for you. Additionally, if you're someone that you feel a little bit stuck and not quite sure what to do with your career, even better. And some of her episodes on well-being and resilience are actually really useful. I hear many people rave about this podcast, and rightly so. In terms of the car rating, for content, it's a four out of five. It's really good quality content. Sometimes a little different topics and things, which is nice, the variety and things. And in terms of audio quality, an absolute four out of five. Rachel just manages to be very clear, crisp, and enjoyable to listen to. Occasionally, the guest content does drop a little bit in terms of audio style. But again, same challenge many of us face when doing podcasts. In terms of regularity, again, Rachel gets a five out of five. This podcast comes out every Tuesday without fail. And in terms of length, average is around 40 minutes or so and definitely worth a listen at that length of time. So for that reason, she gets a four out of five. Before we get onto the number one non-clinical podcast for general practice, make sure you like this episode, leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think and if I've missed any especially good podcasts out there and definitely subscribe to either this podcast or this episode if you're watching us on YouTube. And the top non-clinical podcast for general practice is the General Practice Podcast by Ben Gowland. This is a podcast I've featured on on a few times, so definite declaration there. But I cannot deny this is one of the most useful resources I have ever come across in general practice. Ben is an amazing host and his approach in terms of looking at the content and what people need to hear about is, to be honest, unparalleled in my view. His style of asking questions gets to the heart of the matter and he shares his perspective when it's useful and appropriate to do so. In terms of content, he gets great quality people onto the podcast. Surprisingly, some high-ranking people as well, me included. And in particular, it's regular, useful content that particularly as a PCN clinical director, I have found as one of the most valuable resources to help me over the past couple of years. But let's have a look at the car rating, shall we? So in terms of content, it's an easy five out of five for the general practice podcast. This is simply just, if you look at the back catalogue and the number of episodes that are out there, there will be something that will help you no matter what area of general practice or primary care you are looking at. In terms of audio quality, he gets a 5 out of 5. It's really hard for me to fault the episodes, and even when he's got guests on that may not have the greatest quality, he still finds a way to make that listenable, enjoyable, and it just works. In terms of regularity, it is pretty much five out of five because this podcast will come out every single Monday and it's a great way to start the week with different views, perspectives and information. In terms of length, again, five out of five. On average, most of the episodes are between 20 to 30 minutes at the most, generally speaking, and that is the sweet spot from my perspective for what a podcast should be if it's giving you information that you want to learn about. So, Ben, wow, you've got 20 out of 20, the only podcast I think I've ever given that to, and for good reason. This is, in my view, one of the top resources for you to listen to in general practice. If you want to check out my top clinical podcast for general practice and primary care, have a look at this episode right here. If not, I'm sure YouTube is suggesting another episode right here for you to have a look or listen to. And as always, EGP Learning is here to help serve you and your patients' time by taking hands in your primary care and learning. Catch you in the next episode.